welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tag video. I was tagged by none other than the amazing Julie from Agent Bag Reviews to talk about my most neglected bags in my collection. None of these are luxury items. I do tend to utilize my luxury items or sell them on. So a lot of the bags that I used to neglect, such as the PM Montserrat backpack by Louis Vuitton or my Alma PM by Louis Vuitton, I have since parted with and I feel very at peace with those decisions. I did not get my use out of them and I was able to put that money towards items that I'm now using on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the bags that I have just been neglecting. First and foremost, I wanted to talk about my long chomp in the small size. I do have this kind of packaged up right now because it's just hanging in my closet. And the main reason for that is one, I said I tend to only use this at the beach. I don't use it when I'm at home. However, I will say contrary to that, I do use my long chomp in the large size constantly. There have been times where I did not change out of this bag for a couple of weeks because I love it so much. If you've been watching Autumn Beckman's Vlogmas, then you probably have seen that she recently talked about this bag and it was very, very cool to see that because it's one that I had already owned and loved and it's nice to know that sometimes we have things in common with these YouTubers that we like so much. Absolutely nothing at all against the Le Playage other than I go for the large size over the small one and therefore this little baby is a bit neglected. In a similar sense, I wanted to talk about this bum bag that I have. This is from the Amazon shop called, I believe the Drop. Yes, I just wanted to double check the branding. And I really, really think that if I pulled the trigger on a Louis Vuitton bum bag, I would get a ton of use out of it. I think I would maybe consider going for the World Tour version just because I would love the black treated leather over the Vachetta, just because the Vachetta is very, very thick. So there's a lot of it. I do love this bag. I love that it has a pocket in the back and it fits very comfortably. But that being said, I do not wear a lot of gray. And because this is silver hardware, I don't reach for it as often as I would like to. That being said, I do have the same exact bum bag, but in black, also with silver hardware. It also has that pocket on the back. Super convenient, really love it. Very, very comfortable to wear. And I just get a ton more use out of this one. If I was going to grab for one of them, I definitely am grabbing for the black one. It's very comfortable even when you start to weigh it down with your items and fits a whole lot more than it looks like. These are also a great price point of just under $30. So I highly recommend this especially even as a Christmas gift. If you're interested, I will go ahead and leave a link to them down below. Next up, we're gonna talk about a bag that isn't technically a bag. Well, it kind of is, but this was a Chanel, I don't even know what this, I, I think it had to do with a perfume or something. I know Madison Beer wore it as a bag and then everybody went crazy. I found one on Poshmark before it blew up. It's just like a fabric material almost sherpa i've used this absolutely in photos and in the winter time i would definitely gravitate towards this more but while i definitely have no intention of selling this and i really really love it i would say that it is a neglected bag in my collection all right i just have three more bags i want to talk about one is from forever 21 and then two are contemporary brands so we'll start with the cheaper bag of all of them and that is this one which is heavily inspired of course by the chanel 19 if you couldn't tell i have purchased this bag and wore it I don't know if I ever wore it. I'm not fancy enough to pull this off. I don't even know that I could pull it off in a casual sense. I think they're absolutely beautiful and I love looking at photos and videos of them. But this bag just proved that I, I wouldn't use it. So that's what the inside looks like. It's just like a cheap line material. The zipper on the inside isn't that great. It does have a nice chain and I do like the look of it. Even if I take a peek at this in the viewfinder, I think it's very pretty. It's more of a decoration to me than anything. It does have the leather in the strap, which I think is a nice touch, but yeah. So overall, this is absolutely a neglected bag in my collection. So next up, I have a Rebecca Minkoff bag. Here's what it looks like. Please forgive me. I do not know the name. I did buy this secondhand and I used it one time, realized that my hair was getting caught in the chain and never picked it up again. Also, the chain on this, while beautiful, is very, very heavy and just not very comfortable. I do love the tassels on here and I love the zipper closure. It's very, very smooth. I even love the inside. It just has one pocket. It's 
very hard to see because it's all black. And of course you have the beautiful studs on the bottom. Kind of like the Chanel 19 inspired bag. This is just a little bit out of my style. When I see this bag, I think it's a little bit edgy and that is just not at all what I like anymore. At one time, I do think that I was a little more into that style and now I've just moved on from it. And I'm really disappointed that this didn't work out for me, but it just didn't. And I've now had it for years just sitting in my closet. It is definitely a neglected bag in my collection. Again, very, very beautiful though. The leather is absolutely gorgeous. All right, and last but not least, we have my Michael Kors tote. I do not know the name of this either. This was actually a Christmas gift many years ago from my dad and stepmom, so I will absolutely never be selling it. It is very beautiful and reversible. It even came with a detachable little pouch. It's very similar to a Neverfull, and that's the exact vibe that they were going for when they got it for me because they knew how much I wanted a Neverfull at the time. And I do love this bag. I think it's super practical. The size is incredible, and it does hold a lot of the stuff that I have in my closet but unfortunately I just don't carry it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of some bags that are neglected in your collection. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one and I will see you soon. Happy holidays.